Hello, my brothers. Hello, my sisters. It's another beautiful, blessed day today to always, always be in the presence of the Lord. Every day is a new day for every last one of us to seek Him, to put our faith and trust in Him. And no matter what we're going through right now today, no matter what we're facing right now today, to always glorify Him, to always magnify Him, to always seek Him no matter what. And I know what you're going through right now because you say, I've been waiting, I've been waiting, I've been waiting. I don't done everything I'm supposed to. I've been praying, I've been a good servant, but yet I still haven't seen anything yet. Yet my situation and my circumstances still the same, but I got some good news for you right now today, my sisters and my brothers. If God is making you wait, it's something bigger and better that's ahead. It's something that some it's something that you didn't even ask for. It's something that you didn't even pray for. That's why he's making you wait. He's not making you wait to suffer. He's not making you wait to punish you. But he's making you wait to say, I want you to trust me. He wants you to trust him no matter what. Say, I got your back. I'm not gonna allow you to continue to, to go through this process if I didn't have nothing there. I will not allow you to go through this hurt. In this pain, if I didn't have your back, if you didn't have blessings, if you didn't have your miracles, if you didn't have your prayers already heard and answered, he will not allow you to wait this way. But by you, by him making you wait, it's something bigger and better that's already in the atmosphere. It's something bigger and better that's coming your way. It's something that you need to ask for, pray for, that he want to give to you. He want to give you more, my sisters. He want to give you more, my brothers. But in the midst of all of that, you have to trust him. You have to trust him no matter what, no matter how difficult it is right now today. No matter how painful it is right now today. The word of God says always participate in the pain and the suffering. Because when you participate in the pain and the suffering, you're getting stronger. He's letting you allow him to know, you know what? Yes, I'm participating in this pain and struggling and this suffering I'm going to, but I'm always seeking you. I'm always going to trust you. I'm always believing you. I might not have great faith, but I have some faith. Some faith is better than no faith. A little bit of faith is better than no faith. Continue to use your faith. Continue to trust him. Continue to seek him. Continue to praise him because praise is an everyday thing. Praise is not an on and off switch thing. Praise is an everyday thing. You always got to praise him. You always got to seek him. And just don't praise him because you want something. Praise him for who he is and what he has done in every last one of our life. You want to praise him knowing that he got your back. You want to praise him knowing he'll never leave you or forsake you. You want to praise him to let you know he's always protecting you, that he's always covering you, that he have you in the palm of his hands. Praise him for what he has done, what he has done for you. He has paid the ultimate price for every last one of us. He got beat on for every last one of us. He got spit on for every last one of us. He got crucified for every last one of us. He got nailed to the cross for every last one of us. He carried every last one of our pains and our burden and our sins on our back. That's what he does for you, my sisters. That's what he does for you, my brothers. So that's why praise is so necessary. Praise is an everyday thing. It's not an on and off switch thing. It's not a seasonal thing. It is an everyday thing. He is worthy. He is worthy. He is worthy to be praised. And I don't know about you. But I get so excited by talking about Jesus. I don't know about you. I get so excited by seeking him. Just by praising him. Just by being in his presence. Glory, hallelujah. I thank you, Jesus. Glory, hallelujah. I magnify and shout out your holy name. Glory, 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 hallelujah. I trust you no matter what I'm going through. Yes, I'm, I'm going through pain. Yes, I'm going through suffering. But I'm participating in this pain. I am participating in this suffering. And I'm giving you praise in this suffering. I'm I'm giving you glory in this suffering. I'm trusting you in this suffering because you are my everything because you suffered way before me. So I'm going to suffer too because I know what you went through, Holy Father God. So I want to let you know I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm in love with you. Give him the praise right now. Give him the glory right now. And it always an honor, my sisters and my brothers, for y'all guys to take y'all time out out of y'all busy schedule to always Listen to another word and listen to another message that's coming from my Heavenly Father God. I want to thank y'all so much from the bottom of my heart because if it wasn't for y'all, this ministry would not be where it is right now today. 
I want to thank y'all for my brother Baha for being good servants and being faithful and being obedient. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. I love y'all so much. Amen. Amen. And before we get into this word, I would love to pray with every last one of my sisters and my brothers right now today. Can you please bow your heads with me? Oh, Heavenly Father, God, we come to you today. Just want to say thank you today. We want to say thank you for this beautiful, blessed day today. We want to say thank you for listening to our prayers today and answering our prayers today. We want to say thank you for the help. We want to say thank you for everything that you've done and what you're doing in our life right now today. I'm praying for healing right now for my sisters and my brothers, breakthrough, miracles, and wonders, whatever my sisters and brothers are going through right now today. I'm asking you right now to lift them up in that time and they need right now. I'm asking you to protect them and cover them. Let them know that everything, that everything, Thing, that everything is going to be all right, that you already don't work out the problem, that the situation is already, the, the situation is already fixed. My brother and my sister, I want you to claim it right now, because whatever you're going through right now today, it's already done, it's already solved, it's already fixed. Jesus has already done worked it out, and I just ask you to continue to lift them up right now today. I ask you to speak a word in their life right now today. Holy Spirit, you're welcome in our homes right now today. You're welcome in this ministry right now today. You're welcome in our hearts right now today. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to move around my brothers and my sisters right now today that you're welcome in their life right now today. I'm asking you to speak a word in their spirit right now today. Show them some good news right now. They reveal something to them right now so they can see with their eyes, so they can hear with their ears. Oh, Heavenly Father, God, we want to let you know we thank you right now today. We glorify you and we honor your holy name in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you, my sisters. God bless you, my brothers. I always start out with salvation because nobody knows when their time is going to go. Nobody knows when something is going to happen. And right now, a lot of us don't lost a lot of loved ones, a lot of friends, but by, the, by we losing them, it's something that it didn't ask. Right now, some people right now that's fighting for their life, that's in their hospital room before that accident happened, it's something that they didn't ask. But right now, you have a chance. Right now, you have an opportunity right now today. Do not wait till it's too late when it's time for you to go. Do not wait till it's too late when a tragic situation happened. Right now, you have a chance. Right now, you have an opportunity because tomorrow's not promised to nobody. Next week, next month, next year, within the next five minutes or the next hour, it's not promised to nobody because nobody knows when the situation is going to happen. But while you have a chance and while you have an opportunity right now today, I want you to be bold enough right now today. Do not worry about who, how many people are looking at you, what they think about you, or what they're saying. I want you to be bold enough right now today Say, so you know what? I don't know what's going to happen to me, but right now I have my life, I have strength, I have health, and I have my voice. Today I got to ask Jesus something. I know I've been putting it off, I've been putting it off, I've been putting it off, but right now I can't put it off no longer. There's no way I'm going to continue to put it off. All you got to do is head to the altar right now today. All you got to do is go to your room right now today and say, Lord Jesus, today is the day that I'm asking you to come into my life to guide us, direct us. And I want you to use me right now. Once you boldly say that right then and there, you accepted the Heavenly Father God in your life right now today. You accepted the Holy Spirit in your life right now today. I believe right now today the angels are in heaven right now rejoicing right now today. I want to say amen to you, my brother. I want to say amen to you, my sisters. I want to say amen to you, every last boy and girl. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Before I get started, I always like to take the time out to give our Heavenly Father God all the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory. Oh, Heavenly Father God, this can't thank you enough for an awesome and beautiful blessed day today. I can't thank you enough for another day of life today. I can't thank you enough for our strength. I can't thank you enough for our health. I can't thank you enough for our vision today. I can't thank you enough for what you have done. I can't thank you enough, thank you enough for that you allow the right people in our life for another day. I can't thank you enough for our blessing. I can't thank you enough for our anointing. I can't thank you enough for our deliverance. I can't thank you enough for our breakthrough. I can't thank you enough for the open doors today. I can't thank you enough for the door that you close on us today. I can't thank you enough for the connection, the resource that you're providing. I just can't thank you enough for the rain. I just can't thank you enough for the open 
and doors. I just can't thank you enough just for the food that you put on that table, the clothes and shoes in that bag. I can't thank enough for the air that we able to breathe. I can't thank enough for our health today. I can't thank enough for the blood that's flowing through our body right now today. I can't thank enough for our heart that you'll continue to make it beat. I can't thank enough for our lungs right now today, Jesus. I can't thank enough for our body parts right now today, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough, 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 Jesus. I just can't thank you enough. That's why I praise you the way I do. That's why I glorify you the way I do. That's why I trust you the way I do. That's why I seek you the way I do. Because I just can't thank you enough. I just can't thank you enough. Glory, hallelujah. I just can't thank you enough. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough. In Jesus' mighty holy name. Glory, hallelujah. My brothers, my sisters, I have an amazing word today that I'm about to share with all my brothers and my sisters. And we're going to be reading from the book of Ephesians today, chapter 6, verse 17. And today's word is, why is the devil always in my head playing my tricks on me? And right now the devil's been in your head for quite some time. And it is playing my tricks, it's my tricks on you. And the reason why the devil's in your head doing what he's doing, this word and this message is for you. Amen? Amen, let's begin. Ephesians chapter 6 and we're going to read verse 17 and if you have your Bibles open and ready to receive this word let the church say amen amen God bless you take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of God and pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayer and requests with this in mind be alert and always keep on praying for all the saints. And before I get into this word, I got to make one thing clear. I ain't sugarcoat anything. One thing I know for sure and one thing I know for a fact. Not no opinion, but a fact. The devil is not in everybody's head. I'm going to say that right off the bat. One thing I know for sure. One thing I know for a fact. Not opinion, but a fact. The devil is not in everybody's head. And the reason why he's in your head every morning, when God wakes you up, when he breathes life inside your body, when he breathes air inside of your lungs, you get up and you go to that room. The first thing the devil say, there they go again. There they go again. They're going to the room to pray to their secret man. There they going again, going to pray for somebody. Hey, I, what I got to do now just to confuse them, quit doing that. What can I do just to take them off track? And right now, the devil has been in your head because he knows exactly what you're doing. He knows when God wakes you up in the morning, when God breathes life inside your body, when he pumps the blood so the blood can move through your veins and through your lungs, he knows for a fact that you're going to seek him. He knows that you're going to pray to him. And he knows for a fact that you're going to read the word of God. And by you being faithful, and by you being obedient, and by you being a servant, that's why the devil right now has been attacking your head right now. He's been knocking, he's been knocking, he's been knocking, he's been knocking. Day after day, minute after minute, hour by hour. Because one thing he want to do, he always going to try to play mind tricks on you just to get you off course. Just to see, are you really going to continue to believe and trust in Jesus? And by you doing that, he's putting these vivid images in your head, making them, making them seem like something else is going on. Making seem like something is against you. Making sense that somebody that you with right now is doing you wrong right now today. You know exactly who I'm talking about. I'm going to start with my brothers right now today. My brothers, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You know for a fact that the enemy has been in your head because he has been putting these vivid images in your head to let you know or try to make you think or make you believe that your wife or your or your lady friend is messing around. That she's still in love with somebody else. And I know it's to a point right now that some of you right now that your wife probably ain't even sleeping, you, sleeping with you right now today. And that was making the images even more relevant to you right now today. And he's speaking to you. He just showing things. Look, she don't love you no more. She still thinking about that other guy. Look what she was doing to him. She ain't doing anything. So right now, you all at work. You all at the gym. You all at the grocery store. You just frowning. Your hands balled up. Because it's the images. The images. It's the mind tricks that the devil is playing on you to make you realize that was exactly what she doing. 
He trying to take you off course. You know exactly what I'm talking about. We all done been there before. And the same thing goes for you too, my sisters. Right now, your husband probably ain't sleeping with you right now. He probably, he probably focused on something else. And the devil's putting these vivid images in your head right now. He don't love you no more. He think about the last woman. He think about his ex-girlfriend. And right now, you at the same same spot right now today. All that work, man. Can't wait till you get off. And what do you do when we get off? You go straight home and you go, you go straight home. And the first thing that you do before you put your pocketbook down, you confront him. Who you messing with? Who you sleeping with? You got to be messing around sleeping with somebody. You ain't sleeping with me. You ain't giving me no attention. So you got to be something going on. Every last one of my sisters done done it. And every last one of my brothers done done it. And the reason why you have done it, because the devil has been knocking on your head. He's been putting these images in your head, trying to make it think that the person that you are with, that you sleeping with, that you are married with, that you're in a relationship with, is doing these things to you but it's not the answer it's not even true that's what he's doing he's playing mind tricks on you that's what the word of god it said take the helmet of salvation you always got to have that salvation helmet on and the reason why the devil is knocking inside of your head is in your head because something is there if there's nothing there he don't have time to invest to be in your head the reason why he's in your head the way he's in your head because he knows that what you are praying for, that you are asking for, that God has already done done it, that God has already done worked it out, that God has already done fixed the situation, your problem. And even though that you might not see it yet, but see, he know it. He see because he can peek in and look in your future and see what God is about to bring you into. He can peek in to your future and see how your marriage is going to work out. And even though right now your marriage might be rocking, but he can see how you're going to love your husband again. He can see how your wife going to love you again. He can see the children on the way. He can see the breakthrough on the way. He can see the healing on the way. He can see the nothing on the way. He can see miracles on the way. So that's why he is knocking on your head. That's why at all given times and all occasions, you got to continue to see Jesus first. You got to continue to pray to him. You got to continue to walk by faith and not by sight. But most of all, you always got to continue to trust Jesus no matter what the situation looked like because right now, I know some of you probably hurting right now. Some of you in pain right now. Some of you suffering right now because you've been waiting. You've been waiting and you're waiting and the reason why you're going through that because something is there. God is about to bring you to some, and that's why the enemy is playing these mind tricks on you. He's trying to take you off course because he know that you're closer. He knows that you are closer to your miracle. He knows that you are closer to your breakthrough. He knows that you are closer to your blessing. He knows that you are closer to your anointing, to your deliverance, to whatever it is that God is about to bring you into. He knows that you are real close. So that's why some of you right now, you're walking around with a concussion right now because he has been hitting you. He has been hitting you. He has been hitting you upside the head. Who I'm talking to right now today. Who I'm talking to right now today. Who I'm preaching to right now today. Who is this word for right now today. I tell you what. He sure been knocking me outside the head. I can be at work. I can just be meditating. And all of a sudden. Boom, 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 boom. There you go. What I got to do. I just got to get myself situated. I rebuke you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I rebuke you to get out of my head with all these negative thoughts right now today. And he'll move. So he'll move for a little bit. But guess what he do? He'll creep right back in. And the reason why he's creeping back in, he knows something now. He's not going to be in your mind if it's nothing else. So that's why I said off the bat, the devil's not in everybody's mind. You have to be a good servant. You got to be faithful. You have to know that God got some. God got everything worked out for you, that the situation already fixed, and that's why he's in your head. That's why he's playing these mind tricks on you. That's why he's playing these games with you, because that's what he is. He's a mind tricker. That's what he does. He want to take you off course. He knows when God wake you up first thing he say, man, I'm tired of seeing him. I'm tired of seeing her. They get so excited. They go straight to their room and pray. What can I do to distract them? And he'll throw something right there in front of your face just for order you want to go in that room. But you say, you know what? You can come with that anyway, but I'm still going in that room. I'm still going to pray. I'm still going to seek him. I'm still going to open up my sword right here, my hammer. I'm still going to read the word. I'm still going to get a message out of it. No matter what. And that's what he can't stand. And that's what he don't like. That's why he's playing these mind tricks on you, my sisters. That's why he's playing these mind tricks on you, my brothers. But the one word that stick out to me, 18 said, pray in spirit on all occasions. Because it's going to be an occasion when things are going to go to bed. It's going to be an occasion when things not even making sense. It's going to be an occasion when you're like, is God really for me? 
Because why is I'm going through this? Why I'm getting attacked? Why is the devil? It's all in my head. Why I'm going through this pain? Why I'm going through this suffering? He said on all occasions, not some occasions, not a little bit, but on all occasions, you still got to stay prayed up. Why? You still got to keep that helmet on. Because right now, some of you in the head button match with the devil right now. Right now, it's all what it is. You're in the head button match. He's head button you. He is hitting you with that helmet every day. You're walking around with a concussion right now today. And some of you don't even realize that you're walking around with a concussion. But the concussion is not even affecting you because your prayers, by you staying prayed up, is taking away the concussion that what the, what the devil is trying to hit you with right now today. Am I making sense to somebody right now today? I just drove it home. He said, pray on all occasions. Always stay prayed up. No matter what. Always stay prayed up. Because he's going to do his part to play mind tricks on you. He's going to do his part to try to stay right there. That's why you got to rebuke him. Because if you don't, he's going to linger in your head and play all these tricks, play all these, these fake images in your head. And I know for a fact, I have done it. I'm going to be honest. I have been at work so tired, so stressed out. I'm like, okay, why is my wife really not give me the love what I need, what I'm asking for? And he go and he go this trick person. He put the image in my head. And you gotta be honest with you. Some of you wanna be honest, some of you don't. But like I said, I I'm not a pastor right here. I'm not gonna try to sugarcoat anything. I'm gonna give it to you raw. I'm gonna give it to you one hundred percent. Yes, I have done went home and frowned up and accused my wife of messing around. And first thing I said, oh, Lord, he don't got me again. He don't play that trick on me again. Look, I was the biggest fool. I was the biggest dummy just to go home and confront my wife knowing that I know she's faithful. But it's, it's the, the situation that you're going through. And we all go through it. It don't matter who you are. We all going to go through these situations. We all going to have these thoughts because why? He's going to put something. He's trying to stick right there in your head because he knows that your marriage is going to better. He knows that your health is better. He knows that your finances is better. He knows that your dreams is on the way. He knows that your prayers is already heard. He knows that your help is on the way. He knows that Jesus got your fishes already held up. He knows open doors is already right there to you. He knows rain. He knows that you better receive your harvest because why? He has peeked in and looked into your future and saw and has seen with his own eyes. Not your eyes because he already saw and seen what God is about to bring you into. And that's why he's hitting you upside the head the way he's doing. That's why he's playing these mind tricks. Like I said before, if it was nothing there, if it wasn't healing there, if it wasn't anointing there, if it wasn't blessing there, if it wasn't healing there, if it wasn't breakthrough there, if it wasn't open doors in there, if it wasn't marriage being saved there, the devil's not going to waste his time or investment to be in your head playing mind tricks on you, my sisters, my brothers. So that's why I made it, I made it publicly clear that the devil is not in always, in always in everybody's head. The reason why you in your, the reason why he's in your head, the reason why he's playing mind tricks on you, because he know it's something there. He knows something's about to come to you. I don't know who this word for. I don't know who this message for. But my brother, my sister, I want to do yourself a favor right now today. Don't do it for me. I want you to do it for yourself. Always keep the helmet of salvation on your head. Because if you take it off, he's going to knock your lights out. Always keep it on. And no matter what the situation is right now today, no matter what the circumstances is right now today, no matter what the occasion is right now today, always seek him. Always put him in first place. Always trust him. And always stay prayed up. That's the whole bottom line, this whole message. Always stay prayed up. Because if you don't, he's going to attack you. Amen? Amen. And I hope that this word and I hope that this message was clearly for somebody today. And if it was today, I want you to give Jesus the thanks right now. I want you to give him the praise right now. I want you to give him the glory right now. In Jesus' mighty holy name. Amen. Amen. Before I close, I always like to end with a prayer. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into our life, to guide us, direct us, use us, so we can continue to build a relationship with you. And I believe right now in the mighty name of Jesus, by us praying this simple little prayer, that God is already working everything out in our life right now. And if you ever want to get in contact with me, or leave me a comment. My YouTube channel is withers.lt. Always keep Jesus first place. Always seek him, always honor him, always put your faith in him, always trust him, and always pray, no matter what it is. Always pray, always pray, always pray. Always continue to push forward 
Don't continue to say, you know what, God ain't God forgot about me. He ain't forgot about you. The reason why you're waiting right now because something bigger and better and greater is coming your way. It's already there. Continue to trust him. Continue to trust Jesus. If you don't know anything else, always keep Psalms chapter 62 verse 8 in your heart. Just write it down. Put it in your spirit. Trust him at all times. Pour out your heart to him. Because why? He is your refuge. Refuge means he's your help. He's your provider. That he's already got your back. That he's already got everything worked out. It's already fixed. Trust him at all times, my sisters. Trust him at all times, my brothers. This minister LT. I love y'all. Stay blessed. In Jesus' mighty holy name. God bless you. Amen.